welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Life. I am Tamika coming at you with not an oldie but a goodie video. So if you're new to the channel, I am just a country Mississippi girl living in North Carolina. Okay, y'all. So this video, um, it's been a lot of rain and it has like literally killed <laughs> my squash plants. I haven't been able to been able to come out here and like um, harvest anything. We had rain again this morning, y'all. Um, rain again this morning. So I'm going to come out here and harvest what I can. So I decided to bring y'all along. So yes, this is another garden harvest while it's not raining or anything like that. So we just pretty much going to go around and see what we can get. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, y'all. Y'all been asking. Tamika, what you do? Look like your plants is all good to go and all that. Y'all with all the rain. I came over here and the vine borers has gotten some of my plants that I decided to keep my squash um my squash plants that I decided to keep so it's fine because guess what we got a lot of squash off if you go back to these harvests just this year we got a lot of squash off so this is gonna open up more buckets for new plants all right so we're gonna have to drop some seeds we ain't gonna do that in this video but I came over here and I looked around and I can see um where the vine borer has gotten into a couple. Let me bring y'all down, see if I can draw you closer to this one right here. So if y'all can see. Right here. Um, that's a whole opening. <laughs> and I just, you know, I'm gonna let it do what it do because I see a new budding um up here. And I'm gonna see what it do. Um I may be able to I'm going to try some, y'all. I'm going to try some. I'm going to try something with that. Um, I got to do some research because I'm not sure about it. I'm going to see if I can um, maybe make some new plants. We're going to see. We're going to see. But like I say, yeah, the squash, the, the vine board got me on some of them. So some more of them going to get cleaned up. Um, so, so far, let me just guess I'll start up here. Um, and I'm going to take a look at these plants right here and I'm about to go see what I can get but it looks like these um, on this end is going to be done too y'all So we got one from that one. I'm going to be taking them two plants up. So come on around. Um, what is this? This is a straight neck right here. He don't look so good. So I know that one's going to come up. That's one of the ones I was going to keep. These are there from seeds. These are my white scallop. I'm going to see if I can get them a little bit more bigger. Um, right here before I take them up, but that plant is pretty much about a goner um, So let's go on down here able to get this small squash right here turn y'all around so y'all can see um
So my lemon squash, so I'm glad I'm able to get some lemon squash. These are the ones I started from seeds and this is like my second or third harvest of them. So I'm glad about that. Got another one right here. All right, so all those is probably, I'm gonna see what they're gonna do. If I get anything else um, that grow actually good from it, then I will get it. Um, or else they're just gonna come up. So right here, let me zoom y'all back some. Y'all can see, is my um, Ichabon eggplant. So I'm about to take a couple of these off of here. Some of these are ready. Hope oh, y'all can't see. This one. This, these two. All right. And then I have another one that's right here. That another um, of the Japanese eggplant. So, Like I told y'all before, y'all, when these things get to growing, they really produce, okay? And they produce quick, y'all. Really quick. All right, so that's all for that. So we got quite a few goodies in there already. So let's go on over here and see. I see some banana peppers down there that I feel like needs to be got. Some jalapenos. So I'm gonna take y'all through the pepper area and we're gonna work our way back up okay we're gonna work our way back up this rain that we've been getting uh, y'all can come on this rain that we've been getting has really got I'm sorry y'all I should have paused it but hey it is what it is so um, like I was saying the rain that we got has really got everything really producing and you got to take off while you can so yeah the pepper so i'm gonna pluck all the ones that's ready Mosquitoes. Okay, they can get a little longer. Uh, let those get a little longer. All right. So, I see I got some Serrano peppers. It's like mosquitoes attacking me, y'all. So, let's go over here and get these Serranos. Okay, y'all. I had to go and get some bowls and some containers because so I can put different stuff in. So now I'm about to get my red hot chilies and my serrano peppers, okay? So that's what I'm about to pick. All 
I have three that turned red. Um, and now the Serranos. out of room so gotta put them in a bigger container Big mosquito. I'm on a hill, y'all. And I'm trying not to touch the plant next to it because it's the hibernero pepper plant. <laughs> And remember, if you touch in, if you got hot peppers, do not touch your face or uh, anywhere else on your body <laughs> if you're not using gloves or anything. So this is what we have for Serrano peppers. And we got the three chili peppers in there, y'all. So, yes, 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 Serrano peppers. So I pretty much got a good amount of them off this tree. Um, they should be producing pull it back some they should be producing even more the hibernero peppers is packed but they haven't turned red yet we waiting on them to turn red so if i can show y'all that's that one right there can y'all see it it's this one right here um so next um oops sorry yeah Next, um, I got these peppers right here. Okay, y'all, so these are my culapinos. Trying to get y'all close. So I'm going to put my culapinos in here with my sweet banana um, peppers. So, yeah, I'm going to start picking these. Say, boy, so these are the mild jalapeno peppers, okay? And we got some big ones. They said they're sweeter when they turn red. But look y'all. Mild jalapenos. I'm going to grind these up into a powder. And add them for a light seasoning to see how my body takes them. 
in a powder form. So but that's what both of these are. They are Coolapinos. One hiding right here. Nice size big one. And another one right here. They blend in so well. <laughs> I think that's all that's ready that I see on here as far as my Coolapinos. So now we on to the next. My Carmen Italian, um, I'm going to wait till these turn red. One down there is turning red. I don't know if y'all can see. But these are my Carmen Italian and they are all big. I'm just waiting for them, like I said, to turn red. And then I'll pull them. We done pulled some green, but I just want them to turn red now. Here because these mosquitoes is like tagging us. All right, y'all. So I have a lot of purple um, bell peppers on here. And they are kind of small, but I don't want none to eat them. And they're already really purple. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take these and just treat them like mini bell peppers. Um, now, when they turn purple, they will continue to grow. But... You can take them at almost any stage, okay? So I am taking them now. Let me make sure y'all can see. Taking some of them now. Oh, these mosquitoes ain't playing. If I, I know if I don't take them, some bugs will. Those can get bigger. And then this is another one down here. This is another one down here. That has some bigger ones. A little bit bigger. Okay, this one's going to have to turn more, but I already pulled him, so he'll be fine. There's one more on there. I'm going to wait and let turn some more. So, let's come on down. On down. So, right here is the cow horn peppers. Oh, my goodness. It's so many of these peppers, and they can be red or green. Um, yeah, they can be red or green. I'm going to take some. Uh, I'm trying to think, do I want to take some or do I want them to turn red? But there's a lot of them on here. I'm going to take some. But I am going to leave a few. To turn red, okay. It do kind of take them longer to turn red and stuff, so but they start getting scorched and stuff, like this right here. See that? So that's why I try to go ahead and take the food. And let it just turn red in the inside. <laughs> because the weather is crazy. Woo. Oh yeah, y'all. I ain't gonna be out here too much long. These mosquitoes is tagging. I forgot what time of the day is. And like they don't they don't understand bug spray. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more of these. And these are cow horn peppers, okay? Y'all, hey, somebody, oh, I took the whole darn thing with that one. They are cow horn peppers. So I'm gonna leave the rest of them on here. 
they can get a little longer a little bigger also with the cow horn peppers I have some um, jalapeno peppers so that's what this tree is this uh, bush is right here they are jalapeno so I'm gonna put these in here because I know they're going but I need to go ahead and take some of these off some of these are fat and what happened with is they'll start bursting open if you don't take them. So these are jalapenos and these are the hot ones. Okay. The ones I did earlier was the jalapenos, the mild ones. Mm. Okay. those that's on here it can go a little longer also right here y'all okay y'all so right here is some more is another jalapeno so i'm just gonna take these so we can get from out here but this harvest needed to be done um or else i'll end up losing See, like, look at Fat Boy. He'll bust open soon. He nice and juicy. All right. So that's all I'm going to take off in there. And I have bell peppers and stuff, but they haven't turned yet. So now what I'm going to do now, because I have to finish, I have to do another harvest tomorrow. I already see that. But what I do need to go get is my cucumbers. So let's get those. Okay, y'all. We're going to get these cucumbers and then go in. So I'm going to kind of like have y'all kind of back some while I go in and try to get what we can get. And I'll show you as I get it, okay? Got two vines on him. Which is trying to get him. Woo. Spider webs, y'all. Nice cucumber. Oh. Oh. What was that? Ew. green y'all and I smashed them on me oh <sighs> that was nasty hmm. all right y'all oh my goodness all that rain got these bugs tripping You got to really, really look for cucumbers because they blend in so good. So, so good. Oh, I got one all the way off up in there. Oh, I see you. I don't want to stop me all down here. I ain't tall enough to reach over in there. I'm gonna need you to reach him while I cut him, cause I ain't. He off in there. Right here.
next to oh, it. Oh, I see it, I see it. Yeah. Oh. But you got this one right here. Look y'all, woo, big cucumbers, big ones, cause they saw that rain, but I ain't mad. They gonna get sauteed. And I'm gonna try to do a little pickling thing for y'all without the vinegar, I'm working on something. to give different ways we can do it. Side. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna bring y'all around to the other side. I'm looking for spiders and stuff. Cause I'm telling y'all, the bugs is out. All right. Put y'all right here, so we on the other side. <laughs> you <don't> see that? <laughs> oh, you look like you finna have a baby. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So I got got some right over from here. Different tight ones, y'all. Yeah. Nice and pretty. Look at that. I got bush cucumbers, Prasetta cucumbers, white wonder cucumbers, telegraph cucumbers, all types. I'm gonna take him, I guess. What you think? Woo! Yes. Y'all see? Yes. Woo! Look at this one. Woo! He got some weight to him. Woo! Yes. Look at this. It's some glittery on him. Y'all see that? It's glittery like. I don't know what that is. Oh, is that that uh, miracle bro? Hmm. But he a nice one. Yes, y'all. Woo, got some down here at the bottom, y'all. Trying to get so y'all can see. Look, I ain't gonna be able to. I'm put y'all up here. Let me move y'all up there. All right. Hopefully, y'all can see. Cause I got some down here at the bottom. <sighs> Whew. Whew. Yes. Nice. Right where I was at. Right, where 
right here. Can I cut them from that end? Hold up. Let me bring them down so I can't hold the same. He got some cucumber on the test. Okay, I'm going to cut them. He cut them. Okay, y'all. They everywhere. Y'all ain't gonna get me this time. Y'all ain't, <laughs> ain't gonna get me this time. But that's a long one, y'all. There you go. Mm. Alright, y'all. I see cuckoo melons here. They need to get a little bigger. I'm thinking. Trying to see if I can want to sit in the dirt. You want to sit in the dirt? Like he almost ready, but he still gotta go slow. Is that it? We got two buckets in front. Alright, y'all. So now we're gonna move on up to the front. I'm gonna set y'all right here. Cause I got the buckets that I need to get them from. This bucket fell over with all the rain yesterday. Well, last night, more like this morning. Whoo! Another big one, y'all. All right, put y'all right here. See if anything on there, and then we're gonna try to look in this um, in this part in the front. Yep. Got some more. I'm gonna try to get this inside. Okay, y'all, so we still looking. We're trying to um, measure the cucumelons to see if we find some that's uh, ready to come off. And this is what a cucumelon look like up close, okay? That's what he look like up close. So this is a cucumelon. Shut that door. Um, so that's what we're looking for now. We're going through trying to see if we see any. They have to be about an inch. Um, an inch or either 2.5 centimeters, whichever way you're measuring it, um, long, and they need to be firm, and they get ripe really, really quick, okay? So keep that in mind.
it's a lot of cucumelons on here. They just not they just not ready yet. So, they all about this size, so they're not ready yet. They almost ready, okay? They almost ready. So we got pretty much all the cucumbers that we're gonna get um, today. So let me show y'all, let me show y'all. Ah, Y'all gonna see when I get in the house too, but all these cucumbers, all these are cucumbers, y'all. So exciting, so exciting. So now I'm about to take y'all over here real quick because my melons are doing amazing. And a lot of y'all messaged me and said that you was growing your, your melons in containers and stuff. And I just want to show y'all what, in the matter of like two days, what my melons is doing in these containers. Okay, y'all, so this is one tub right here. And I can tell this one right here ain't gonna make it. I'm gonna take him off. Um, let me get something to take him off. I don't know what happened to him. He must then get pollinated or something real good. I throw it right there. I'm gonna take him off. And I gotta start making my little things, my little trellises to help my little things out. To help my melons out. Let's see. I want him to drop. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take him completely away. Come on, all right. Um, so look, y'all. Right here. Come on, close thing. All right, right here is one of my melons. Now these are the Walla Melon Jubilee. Let me get low so y'all can see them. See, that's one of my Walla Melon Jubilees. And it's in this 17 gallon tote. You can also grow these things in five gallon buckets, y'all. Okay. Like I said, I was growing them last year, the Crimson Sweet. I got a little one right there growing. These right here are cantaloupe. These are my watermelons. And then over here on this side of that same tote, we got him. And then over here is what I got off of in here. These are cantaloupe too. And I want to show y'all. Got that one. Got that melon down there. Oh, and a lot of flowers. That means plenty more coming. And over here. Let's see. Do we see any over here? And they be hiding too, y'all. Let's see no more over here. Over here is my mango wallow melon and my vine peach melons. So we just discovered that we got one back here. It was on this one, wasn't it? Right here in the back? Yeah. It was the first one we took in the back. Oh. oh no. no, yeah, yeah. I was like, you told me it was one back here. Oh yeah, he's under there. Y'all see him? Yep, there you go, right there. So he's gonna be one of my my mango. It's a watermelon, but it's mango um, melon. It's what it's called. And then I have this one right here that's growing. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. And now we're gonna take a look at my vine peach ones, which we got somebody growing right there. My vine peach, I'm waiting for them to get that yellow orange color. They're gonna look like the color of a peach. Got one a little one right there coming, and then I'm checking on these down here that's been coming. So yeah, I'm very excited about those, y'all. Got all type of little ones just growing and all these flowers. I'm excited. I can't wait to eat them. I can't wait to eat them. So we got more harvest than we need to do. Um which one? Oh, it's one right here, y'all. Nope, I didn't. Look, y'all. Yes. And you got something coming right here. Yep. 
And another vine. I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's the watermelon or the vine peach. Because <laughs> I put them all in there. And look. They just everywhere, y'all. Um, I got I got tomatoes and stuff, but that I'm gonna have to get. But like I say, these mosquitoes is going crazy. So I have to come out early morning. Sorry, I have to come out early morning, y'all, and get my lemon tree is doing good. Look at that, y'all. Getting the greenery back. Gord. I got some berries. But I gotta go in the house, y'all, because these mosquitoes is like yes. So I'm gonna see y'all in the house and we're gonna weigh these bad boy and the other stuff that i got coming i mean the other stuff that we harvested okay i still got a lot more that needs to be harvested y'all but i'm gonna have to harvest y'all gonna get this video tonight and i'm gonna have to harvest some more tomorrow and i'll just bring y'all along with me tomorrow who knows i may go live in the morning and do a harvest um that's probably what i'm gonna do live with y'all in the morning and do a harvest but let me go and get off so i can get this video this stuff weighed and get this video up for y'all Okay, y'all, I thought we was done, but apparently we not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these. Of course, I'm not done, but I'm going to go ahead and get these. Um, these are the ground cherries. I told y'all, when they ready, they fall to the ground, okay? And, yeah, a lot of them have fell. They fall all day long, okay? So, I have containers of ground cherries. So, I'm about to get down here oh, and pick up what I can I'm gonna have to have the kids to come get some of them but I'm gonna show y'all the bowl that I have picked up over time the kids gonna have to get down here and get these okay <laughs> um but let me go ahead and cut i got strawberries to get too and i need to get these tonight um there's two strawberries oh. and a lot of ground cherries so let me get the kids and have them come get them. Y'all come get these. Okay, y'all. The guys is getting them. Huh. The girls, we, we sitting chilling. The guys is getting them. So, yeah. I could have got all the way down in there, but I'm tired, y'all. Oh, well, summer. Some you supposed to be chilling with us girls. The guys them. So y'all, once they finish getting those up, then we're gonna get this weight in started, okay? I can go ahead and show you. Tyler, give me those right there. So these was picked up by the kids, I think yesterday or day for yesterday. So that's a bowl of them. Give me that plate. Uh, thank you, ma'am. And then this is some in the plate that was all uh, <laughs> picked up. So now we have another whole bowl right there that they are picking up and so once we get through we got, i'm gonna do the weigh in all right okay y'all y'all know what time it is it's weigh in time okay weigh in time so with that being said let's go ahead and get right on into it so i got my scale right here and it's off so let me turn it on all right we at zero so first we gonna start with because they right here close to me the ground cherries so i took all the ground cherries that we have been getting over the past couple days and put them in a strainer okay um because i'm gonna get ready to store these all right so they'll last they will last for months if you store them correctly they don't have to really be in the refrigerator but the moisture from the refrigerator speed them up so you need a dark cool place to um keep them in and you're supposed to keep them in their husk okay keep them in their husk do not take them out their husk unless you're ready to eat them i got a few that's kind of damp from falling where it was kind of wet so i'm gonna let them air dry out and probably put a paper towel over the top of it and just keep it on the counter let them air dry out and then i will start storing them so let's go we've been eating them we've been eating them here and there so we're gonna see what we got as of today okay 
one pound it says one pound and I already know my strainers and stuff don't weigh anything y'all done saw me use these so many times okay so next is my peppers so we're gonna do the cow horn peppers because I do have the jalapeno peppers um, in there so make sure I'm zeroed out I'm gonna start putting the cow horn peppers Okay, cow horn peppers say they don't weigh anything. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna change these out. Let me see if I got a weight on the jalapeno. Or did I have a weight? Let's see. My scale was tripping. Put these back on here. Oh, okay, my scale was tripping. That's a pound? I thought they should have weighed some. So the cow horn peppers are one pound. So it was the scale. So cow horn, one pound. All right. Now I'm going to remove these. There we go. It's back up doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, so now I'm going to put my jalapeno peppers. So these are the hot jalapeno peppers. Alright, and it said I got a pound of jalapeno hot peppers. Alright. Y'all, I'm not even done with the harvest, but like I say, it's getting late. And the mosquitoes out, so I have to do another harvest tomorrow. I got what I got just in case it start raining. I won't lose none of this food. So, I knew what I needed to go ahead and get. So, next, let's do my these are my cool appeal peppers they probably ain't gonna weigh nothing okay yeah don't say it they don't weigh anything so i'm gonna put that they are one two three four five six it was a six count okay and if the jalapeno if the sweet banana peppers i pull even though i know i got more don't weigh anything then we're gonna weigh them together Come on, what's it? A half pound. Let's do these again, y'all. Scale tripping today. Okay, no, it wasn't. All right, so now we're gonna put these on here and see if they weigh anything. And they don't. So that's three. That's five. Banana pepper, five count. Now I'm gonna throw these all on here together so I can have a food count for this harvest. Alright. Alright, so it says a half a pound, okay? So I'll put a half pound. I know I need to add that. Alright. Zeroed out. Okay, good to go. So next we're gonna do I know my red hot chilies, I got just three. They don't weigh nothing. Um so I'm going to put a three count. I got more of them out there, but I'm waiting for them to get red. Okay. So now I'm going to put my Serrano peppers on here. So we zeroed out. All the Serrano peppers. They don't look real, do they? <laughs> All right. So it say that it is a half pound of Serrano peppers. All right. So I'll take these back. All right, so next we got, we're going to do, ah, move 
this over. So next we're gonna do the purple bell, okay? Zero it out. Okay, purple bell. And say we got a half pound. Next, we got my. See, we zeroed out. Okay, yeah. My purple eggplant, also known as the Ikebun eggplant, also known as the Japanese eggplant. <laughs> okay, so we got all these. One pound. All right. Those here. Um, I savage two yellow squashes, so we zeroed out. Put those right there. I did not write yellow. Good thing I got some already in the freezer from um the harvest this summer. So let's see. But I got a half pound of yellow squash, and then my lemon squash. Ooh, she has zeroed out. So it say they are a pound. All right. Because all these groceries, y'all, just right out the back yard. I mean, really? Right out the backyard. Right out of the backyard. <laughs> It's amazing and exciting. All right, so I need to make room. So cucumbers, it's a variety of cucumbers. I know that's what y'all been waiting on. So y'all, we gonna put these cucumbers on here and watch this. Let me bring y'all look closer. Let's see, cause I'm excited. Let's see what we got for cucumbers. Cumbers. Okay, y'all. Let's get it. One. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm probably going to have to do two different um things. Two different ways for these longer ones. I'm going to get as many as I can. Oh, here. We up to 4.5 pounds. 5.5 pounds. I knew that was going to be. So that first weigh in for the cucumbers is 5.5 pounds. Uh, all right. Let's see. Should I go? No, because I got some long ones on there. So let me take these off. So that's four. We're going to add it all together. We're going to do two weigh-ins. Uh, yeah, i do it that way. Because I don't want to make a tower and then it falls. So now let's put these longer ones. I'm going to lay down like this. He a pound and a half by himself. This one on this side, y'all. Put this one on top. And this one on top. <laughs> we have seven pounds. I want to make sure everybody's on there. Ten. Hold up. Make sure everybody's weight is on it. I don't feel like that one getting registered like he should. Okay, we're going to wait. I'm going to take it off. We're going to do a third one. But that's 7.5 and I want the true. 
All right, we're going to have to add all this up. Then I'm going to do the last three, y'all, because we got a lot of cucumbers. Last three. Let me move it so y'all can see. All right, so now let's put these here. All right, now we got three pounds. So let me tally all this up. I'm going to um, come back once I tally all this up. Oh my goodness, y'all. So everything that you see right here, these peppers and ground cherries and all of these cucumbers. Yes, all of these cucumbers, y'all. When I tally it up, the cucumbers alone by themselves weigh a total of 16 pounds 16 pounds of cucumbers right out of the back out of a raised bed and some five gallon buckets 16 pounds and there's so many more that needs to be picked and that are growing y'all you can do it y'all you whoo please throw some seeds in and just put in just a little bit a little bit of work and you can do it okay um then the rest of everything came up to seven pounds so a total of 23 pounds of food and I'm not done this would have been a big harvest the biggest harvest so when I do the video I I'm not sure if I'm gonna go live and do the harvest it depends on how early I get up if it's guys will how early I get up because I do want to do live tomorrow with y'all with some more stuff because I got a lot of stuff to preserve and put away so I'm, I'm don't quote me on I, I we're gonna do something tomorrow if it's guys will gonna do something tomorrow with a live not sure what but this is 23 pounds of food now imagine if i would have harvested I, I didn't even go over to the beans i didn't even go over to the other banana plants that was volunteers i didn't go over to the i didn't get the tomatoes none of that y'all so i would have had a big big harvest this time so we're gonna take this 23 since it's another harvest for tomorrow and we're gonna add the tomorrow harvest together and gonna see what all we have i think i'm gonna get up if this guys will go out there and harvest and then we're gonna do a whole preserving i need to spend the day tomorrow putting preserving everything dehydrating and all that good stuff y'all um so with that being said y'all i'm gonna go ahead and end this video y'all get out there in your gardens and grow your food and put it up put it back for storage eat on it cut that grocery bill in half y'all it can be done anybody can do it you don't have to have a green thumb it's not that hard like i y'all know my motto and if you're new to my channel i I always have said from day one, gardening is supposed to be fun, and if you make it hard, it may not never get done, okay? And if it don't get done, y'all, how you gonna eat other than paying money for somebody else to provide you with food, okay? So it's so many things that you can do with this, like peppers, like I have GERD, so I have to be very careful. Um, and I'm gonna dehydrate these bad boys down and turn them on a powder, and if I don't do nothing but add just a little pinch of it in a dish, to give it some flavor. It ain't like I'm eating the whole pepper, but I have a little bit of flavor. See, I gotta think of little things like that to, you know, help out with the eating. And a lot of a lot of people are saying that um you enjoying the cooking shows is helping people with GERD. Look, GERD is not fun. It is a disease that you would never get rid of unless you eat healthy. Even eating healthy, you'll never get rid of it because the minute you eat something that triggers you you back sick okay so i understand have i've been having it since the age of five diagnosed by doctors i get it i get it plus i have anxiety so guess what oh yes so with that being said y'all i'm here to motivate not trying to tell you how to do it i want to tell you how i do it um it's not a how-to channel it is a no rule when it comes to the garden and the doing certain things channel it's a motivational channel it's a life channel it ain't just gardening it ain't just couponing it's a way of life that's why i want this channel to be about my way of life you know and i hope it's well 
I know it's helping you guys because you guys have been letting me know in the comments. Like I say, I see your comments, but y'all please understand I can't sit in response to everybody, but it don't mean that I'm not appreciative. The channel is growing. The comments is going. If I sit and respond to all the comments, I won't get videos out for y'all to give y'all more information and stuff like that. So with that being said, thanks everybody, all of my subscribers, everybody that's... um that's on the channel I really really appreciate it I never would have thought the channel would have grown like it has grown in the past year in the past couple of months y'all and it's just oh, amazing because I'm like me I nobody never take me seriously I'm always an old soul I'm always doing things that my peers it's like oh why are you doing that you should be living life I am living life I have kids I'm 34 years old so I'm still young but I'm enjoying what i do and it's also teaching them what to do you know if they when they get older if they want to do it and I, look i done made it this far with god's help and i will i will continue on okay so what so so if, if my peers think it's crazy or whatever for what i'm doing it's amazing when y'all leave comments and let me know that you know my little bit of work i mean i don't know everything i mean i'm just just a country Mississippi girl. <laughs> um, but it's the fact that y'all enjoy and, and that if I can, like I always say, if I can help one person, that's enough for me. But I'm helping a lot of people and I really, really enjoy it, y'all. Really enjoy what I do. Um, and it's, it's never about, you know, being a YouTuber and the, the, the pay, the money or the views, anything like that. I really, really, I'm really, really grateful that I'm able to even help someone. Because like I say, simple things like GERD and being able to grow your own food and stuff, it, it's amazing. Because I know what I go through with um, having GERD. GERD is a disease. It's, it's a disease that, you know, some people is born with. Some people get it over the years. You know, it's, it's, and it's horrible. So, with that being said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But 23 pounds of food, y'all, and we ain't done. We ain't done, y'all. We ain't done. So, with that being said, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. I want y'all to be safe, and I'm going to see you in the next video, if this guy's will. Until next time, y'all, happy gardening. Bye.